So my, my understanding is you guys want to, you've created Google Alerts, and uh, Google Alerts in this case uh, for me is searching the news for the word Obama. And I set this up last night, and uh, already I have four separate uh, alerts that have come in for news based on Obama, each containing 20 to 25 uh, pieces of um, email, and so there's a total of, of 80 alerts here that I've that I've gotten. I want them to come in uh, as frequently as possible, so whenever I check the folder that they contain, they're in there, but I don't want them to come into my, my regular email. So in this case, I'm going to set up a filter and set up a, uh, um, uh, a tag called uh, Google Alerts so that uh, I can I can look for them when I want them but I don't want them to come into my email so this is how I do it. Uh, going up here to my email in the settings and to settings and I click. From here there's a command called filter. Inside the filter I want to create a new filter and I want it to be has the words quote Google Alerts precisely like that. I can test it, and I see that uh, it comes up with one email, and that's exactly the one uh, that I want. So once again, I go to my filter, add new filter, has the words Google Alerts, and I create a filter with this search. And with that filter, I want to skip the inbox. I want to send it directly to my archive. And I want it to apply a label. In this case, I need to create a new label called O. I'll just call it Google Alerts. And hit Create. And it says, oh, look, one already matches that. So I create the filter. And now when I go back to my inbox, You'll notice that that one uh, that was up there uh, is, is no longer there. Um, so if I scroll down here <clears throat> and check under Google Alerts, that's now in my uh, in my um, labels over here, and click on that. There's my Google Alert, along with all of the the email uh, that has to do with news stories that are coming from that Google Alert. Enjoy.